Hey guys, I'm back with another pampering shower routine. This is my ultimate self-care beauty routine. I'm going to be using my all-time favorite skin and hair care products. And as always, the products I'm going to be using are natural and organic, and I absolutely love them. Self-care is so important. Even if you just take 20 minutes out of your day to show yourself some self-love and care, it'll make a world of a difference on both your physical and mental health. So I hope this video will inspire you to spend a little time this week doing something for yourself because you deserve it. So I'm starting off by brushing my hair with a wooden bristle brush to get the knots out, distribute my scalp's natural oils, and massage my scalp. I always make sure my hair is untangled before doing any sort of hair treatment or washing it because trust me, this hair is not fun when it's tangled. Now I'm going to use my all-time favorite hair oil. This is the Blue Beautifly Organic Amalaki Scalp Oil Serum. If you've seen my videos before, you know how much I love this stuff. I just use the glass dropper and apply it directly to my scalp and then give my head a nice massage to help bring circulation to the scalp. It contains so many nourishing herbal extracts and oils and essential oils and it's just really great for conditioning the scalp and promoting healthy hair growth and helping with things like dandruff or dry itchy scalp. I also love using my electronic scalp massager. You can totally just use your hands, but I have to admit this electronic scalp massager feels so good. It's like getting the best scalp massage ever. And apparently you can even use this in the shower, but I haven't tried that yet. I'm kind of scared. And I also like to apply some oil to my ends. You can really use whatever oil you want for this. I just like to bring some extra hydration to my ends. And then I twist my hair up into a bun and secure that with a claw clip. And then I put a shower cap on and then I put my Hotheads thermal heat cap on. It's filled with black seeds and you just warm it up in the microwave and the heat helps your deep conditioners and oils work better. So while my oil is working its magic in my hair, I'm gonna go and take a sauna. So since I'm visiting my parents, I get to use their amazing far infrared sauna. This is the perfect way to warm up on a really cold, chilly Canadian winter day. Taking a far infrared sauna has so many benefits. It's a great way to detoxify and sweat out impurities through your skin. It also brings circulation to the skin, so it can help with skin problems like acne. And it's just a really nice way to relax. And while you're in the sauna, you can read, you can write, you can, you know, just get away from the electronics and try to take your mind off things and relax. I also like to drink a big glass of lemon water while I'm in the sauna. That's just gonna help me keep hydrated and flush out toxins because we wanna beautify from the inside out. And of course, I have my little guard dog sitting outside the sauna to protect me from intruders. And once I'm done with the sauna, it's time for my pre-shower skincare. This is a full-on pampering routine, you guys. So I've discovered the best cleansing oil in the whole entire world. It's the Blue Beautifly Organic Calendula Cleansing Oil. And if you're a fan of doing the oil cleansing method like myself, you need to try this product. It has so many nourishing ingredients for the skin like castor oil, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, calendula, and turmeric. So I just gently massage a few pumps of that onto my face and neck and once I'm all oiled up, I do a bit of gua sha massage. Gua sha facial massage is a technique originating in China and it helps relieve tension in the muscles of the face, it helps boost circulation, and it encourages lymphatic drainage. So I'm using a rose quartz gua sha tool today, as you can see, it just looks flat like this. And I have a few different shapes. You can get them in jade and rose quartz, or some people even just use a ceramic spoon. So I just start by scraping my neck. I just scrape it along the skin around three to five times for each area. I also like to do around my shoulders and the back of my neck, just anywhere where I hold tension. I try to massage that out. And then I move up to my chin and just kind of glide the tool along my jawline. A lot of people say this helps contour their jaw. And I really like to focus it along my cheeks because that's a big problem area for me. 
and I really like to get into my temple area and along the sides of my cheekbones and kind of scrape along there, bring the circulation to where all my indented acne scars are. And then I just keep scraping my skin with this tool in all the different areas of my face. I love doing this, it just feels really nice and it feels like you're really doing something for your skin, so I love that. And then I just finish my gua sha facial by draping a hot washcloth over my face and just wiping away the excess oil. It's like doing the oil cleansing method plus a facial massage. And you can kind of tell my face is flushed and a bit red from the circulation boost to my skin. And also before I get in the shower, I'm going to exfoliate my skin a bit. I like to use some sort of enzyme exfoliant at least once or twice a week just to help brighten my skin and get rid of any dead skin cells. So right now my favorite exfoliant is the Blue Beautifly Pineapple Enzyme Exfoliant. It smells like a tropical fruit platter and I just want to dig in and eat it. So I just massage that into my skin and leave it on for a few minutes and then I can jump in the shower and just wash that exfoliant off right away. So now I can wash this oil out of my hair. I'm using my Kalia Hydrating Shampoo today. I've been using the hydrating line all winter and if you've been following me for a while, you already know that Kalia has been my favorite hair care line for so many years. Their products are made with gentle, natural ingredients, and they just work so well with my hair. And I'll also mention that I have a whole video on how I wash my hair, so I'm going to link that down below because I go a bit more in depth in that video. And next I'm going to condition my hair with the Kalia Hydrating Conditioner, and I focus my conditioner mainly on my ends and let that just sit in for a couple of minutes. And while I let my conditioner sink in, I like to wash my body and shave my legs. So I'm using my Puna Noni Plumeria Scented Body Wash today. This is another brand I love. Their products are made locally in Hawaii from natural ingredients and they smell so good. And now I'm going to shave my legs. So I have my Rose Gold Wee Razor, which is a safety razor. I'll admit this is quite a luxurious razor, but come on, it's rose gold, I needed this in my life. It did take me a while to get used to using a safety razor, but they're awesome because then you don't have to buy plastic razors that you just end up throwing away. So I'm never going back to regular razors now that I have this. Another healthy hair tip is to use a shower filter. The one I use is by Sprite, and it just removes things like chlorine that can strip and damage your hair and skin. And lastly, I do an apple cider vinegar rinse. So today I'm using one that I infused with lavender this past summer. It's such a pretty color and it smells so good. I feel like I can barely even smell the vinegar because it just smells like a lavender field to me. So I just dilute a little bit of that with some water and then dump that over my scalp and let it sit on my hair for a few minutes and then I just quickly rinse it out again. And I feel like the lavender just softens my hair and the scent is just so relaxing. And now that my shower is done, I just put my towel turban on so I can let my hair dry a bit and it's time for my favorite part, my after shower skincare routine. And to really make this feel like a spa, I like to put my diffuser in the bathroom to get some aromatherapy benefits going. And today I'm using this Kalia essential oil blend called Tranquility Oil. This one contains lavender, peppermint, frankincense, and orange. This Tranquility Oil and my Five Thieves Oil have been my go-to essential oil blends for this winter. And when I get out of the shower, I like to moisturize my body a bit, especially after I shave. So I'm going to use the Blue Beautifly Lavender Body Massage Oil. I've been a fan of their Organic Arnica Body Oil Serum for years, so I'm really excited that they added this one to their line. And the lavender scent is just so lovely for relaxing after a shower. So to begin my skincare, I start by toning my skin with this Pure Rose Rose Mist. And I just spray it all over my face, neck, and chest. It just has two ingredients, organic rose nectar and organic Bulgarian rose oil. The smell just calms me so much. It's like sticking your nose into a bouquet of roses. Now I'm applying a pump of the Blue Beautifly Rose Hyaluronic Serum. 
This contains rose, hyaluronic acid, and marine pine bark, and I just find it really hydrates and soothes my skin. And then I apply a bit of this Blue Beautifly Organic Chamomile Night Oil Serum. It's another one of my all-time favorite skincare products. It smells so good. I could just sit here and sniff the bottle all night. It contains so many beautiful oils like chamomile, sea buckthorn, tamanu, argon, calendula, the list goes on. So I love using it because it just contains so many oils that are good for acne scarring. And then I just dab a bit of this green coffee eye moisturizer around my eyes to just give the delicate skin around this area some extra hydration. And then another one of my favorite parts to soothe my skin, I'm just rolling my face with my rose quartz face roller. And I like to put it in the fridge and then just cool my skin down after doing a facial. And you know me, I jump at every opportunity to put gemstones on my face. And then I'm just applying a little bit of this herbal sage deodorant to help prevent stinkiness. And then I always brush my teeth after I have a shower and I actually look forward to brushing my teeth now because my mom bought me these awesome crush and brush brushing tablets from Nelson's Naturals. It's a really nice Canadian brand that makes natural toothpaste. And then you just take a tablet and put it in your mouth and chew on it. And then you take a wet toothbrush and just brush your teeth and it kind of fizzes in your mouth. I just think there's such a cool idea and I actually look forward to brushing my teeth now. And then I'm going to apply my favorite lip product ever. This is the Fit Glow Beauty Night Lip Serum. You guys know I'm a fan of their color lip serums, so this is just the clear version for nighttime. It is expensive, it's a total luxury, but I just love it so much. So now I'm just taking my hair out of my towel turban and I'm gently detangling it with my detangler brush, starting from the ends and working my way up. And I'll just let my hair air dry. And then finally, I have one of my all-time favorite moisturizers. This is the Kalia Intensive Facial Cream with Rose Geranium. I know it says it's a face cream, but I use this all over my body. I don't know how it absorbs in so well, but it's basically the only thing I use as a hand cream because it just doesn't leave my hands feeling oily or greasy. And it's packed with avocado oil, sweet almond oil, sea buckthorn oil, and more. So I hope you enjoyed getting pampered with me. You can follow me on Instagram for daily photos. I'm going to link that down below in the description. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!